It's time for Godcast, not a podcast, not a broadcast. It's all about God, Godcast. A chapter a day keeps false teachers away. A chapter a day. To read a chapter on your own takes maybe five minutes, five to ten, depending on how long the chapter is. Start with the book of John and just keep going. And that's what this is all about. This, and I say start in the New Testament, absolutely, and read all of it, please, all the way through the end of Revelation. Don't be scared. That was written actually to encourage us just because you don't understand it and you have a lot of people acting like it's all symbol and it's all freaky and it's all this and it's all that. Quit. The Lord promises that he is going to protect us. We got end times happening right now. It's imperative that you know God's word because there's coming a time and it's already happening that the Bible will be labeled hate speech. So I'm going to read a chapter. This is what I'm doing. Started in the book of Mark and through Luke. Now we're into John up to chapter 15. Now we're going all the way through the end of Revelation. So come on along. But first, thank you, Father, so much for bringing people to watch this, see this, hear this for encouraging people to share this so that we can have your holy word permeating social media. How awesome would that be? The enemy would love to see nothing like that happen, which is why I hope it does in tremendous ways, not for me and not for me, but from you and for you. Lift up others, please, to do this same thing. Just reading a chapter, that's all. In order. Thank you, Father. Give us wisdom, discernment, understanding, revelation. I pray all those things for us in your name, King Yeshua, Christ Jesus. Amen and amen. John chapter 15. This is the New American Standard Translation, which is what I like to use because it's the closest you can get to the original scrolls and tablets. I don't need somebody flowering up the language or toning it down because it might be too harsh. It might be too harmful or hurtful to people who are embroiled in sexual sin and don't want to hear about it. Not me. Tell me what it said originally. That's what I want. So New American Standard Translation is a great one. New King James Version is a great one. These were all updated after the discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls. Jesus speaking here, quote, I am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he, the father, takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes it so that it may bear more fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me and I in you as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine. So neither can you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him, he bears much fruit. <coughs> Excuse me, for apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away as a branch and dries up, and they gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. Wait, what? Go back. Verse 6, if anyone does not abide in me, not if anyone does not bear fruit. I mean, it could be just a little bit. I'm doing something. Yay. If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away as a branch and dries up, and they gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified by this, that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. Just as the Father has loved me, I have also loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. Those things I have spoken to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be made full. This is my commandment, that you love one another, just as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that 
one laid down his life for his friends. You are my friends. If you do what I command you. No longer do I call you slaves, for the slave does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you would go and bear fruit and that your fruit would remain so that whatever you ask of the Father in my name, he may give to you. This I command you, that you love one another. He's talking directly to his apostles here, by the way. If the world hates you, still quoting verse 18, if the world hates you, you know that it has hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. But because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, because of this, the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you. A slave is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you. If they kept my word, they will keep yours. Also, but all these things they do to uh, to you for my name's sake, because they do not know the one who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not have sinned. But now they have no excuse for their sin. He who hates me hates my father also. If I had not done among them the works which no one else did, they would not have sinned. But now they have both seen and hated me and my father as well. But they have done this to fulfill the word that is written in their law. They hated me without a cause. When the helper comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, that is the spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, he will testify about me, and you will testify also, because you have been with me from the beginning. End quote. That's John chapter 15. Please go back and read it for yourself. Read it, physically read it for yourself because it will help you remember it. Retain it in your subconscious. We need to get this word in our heads now because there's coming a time. Mark my words. All right. Lord willing, tomorrow, John chapter 16. See ya.